Presenting Linda Auberton, Director, Shared Services at DXC Technology. Recognized for developing transformational and optimization strategies, delivering strong business results and high engagement, Linda oversees global payroll services for 70 countries. Let's give it up for Linda Auberton, who will be throwing a spotlight on payroll in the Americas. Welcome to Payroll Beyond Borders, and thank you for being here today. It's fabulous to have the opportunity to share Payroll to the West. I'm Linda Overton, and I've been very fortunate. My career has taken me around the globe, working on the ground in over 40 countries and in most regions of the world. Today, I have the responsibility of 67 countries for DXC's global payroll footprint. Let's take a journey of Payroll to the West. I would be open to all of your questions uh, via the chat option. You know, it may surprise you that we are not able to go by auto automobile to cross the Payroll West region in the Americas due to the terrain. So it'll be a journey of planes, trains, boats, and automobiles to travel from the far reaches of Argentina to Canada and beyond borders. This covers over 10,000 kilometers. And while the terrain may be different, uh, you will find that our industry has commonalities and has many differences. As your navigation assistant today, on our journey, we'll find payroll industry highlights, commonalities and differences among payroll in the West. And then also we'll touch upon what does it take to deliver a successful payroll program. As we think about what's changing in our industry, in Payroll to the West, the times are truly changing. They're rapidly changing. While the Americas tend to prefer to be together as relationships are critical and all countries within the West are working virtually, offices may be preferred by the majority. In reality, they are used by smaller percentages of firms today and the hybrid office work model is in full motion. Actually, many companies are still working virtually to lead the trend and providing more flexibility and extended benefits for those who can work from home. In the West, we also want our pay frequently and in some countries monthly is common, but bi-weekly is also very frequently found and now even daily pay continues to be the hottest trend. Even banks are participating and sharing an early pay date for their customers. Digitizing has been a theme the last two years and all countries have embraced new ways of eliminating paper. But some countries will still require a pay slip in the West and even acknowledgement by the employee like in Mexico, but it can be digital today uh, due to many of the efforts that have been made to move to higher levels of automation. We find many different headlines and one that is common across payroll in the West are the workforce challenges around finding great talent. Succession continues to be a critical challenge and even a risk for some employers. The payroll profession is one of the industries which is an example of a shortage of talented workers and companies across the region have difficulty finding and retaining great talent. Also, we know the GPMI Institute is sharing information around the regulatory landscape. Payroll in the West is highly compliance driven and in recent years, Countries across Latin America have introduced important labor reforms that promise to improve workers' rights in the region. The most prominent index of labor rights produced by the International Trade Union Confederation. There's a wide variation 
among countries in the region in on the ground protection of labor rights. So please ensure you're staying very current as many countries are changing even as we speak. You know, this year, Mexico had a huge reform around their employment structures and how to treat employees. In fact, even in many states in the US, California, and similar to other countries in the West, benefits need to be provided to contract workers. So please ensure you understand all the regulatory changes that are impacting our employment environments. And this actually leads to, of course, significant complexity just in tracking all of the labor laws and all of the compliance regulations. Audits are increasing and cybersecurity continues to be one of the hottest topics in peril in the West region with more incidents of ransomware attacks. So please ensure that you're selecting appropriate partners and also within your information technology organization that you have the latest and greatest technology to manage all of your data privacy and keep your employee information protected. You'll also find another significant headline in Payroll to the West and it is around cutting edge technology. It's here to stay. And when we have cutting edge technology in our organizations and we also are able to leverage it from our partner firms, we're able to provide a higher level of experience for our employees in the payroll organization and throughout our firm. I'm also looking very forward uh, to more utilization of blockchain and really taking all of our hands off the data allowing the data to flow end to end without any touch points and having our focus transition more to the employee experience. We're not doing this in a way to reduce the workforce. We already have a shortage of talent. So it's really about providing a higher experience. Now, additional commonalities in Payroll to the West focus on a few key topics. I mentioned a few around the talent, the workforce considerations. It truly is an employee market. So why, why Payroll really needs to ensure we're focused on providing the best experience for our employees from an end-to-end -end customer service perspective. It's all about compliance. Again, changing regulations each and every day. Uh, there's so much shift from government programs to employee coverage for employees. So we have to be on top of the changes in every country. Compliance is also going to be expensive and perhaps it may be the most expensive um, than other regions. So please ensure that you understand the cost of doing business in any of our countries in payroll to the West. In fact, payroll can run from any price from uh, $5 a payslip in my uh, experience, I've even paid up to $150 per payslip. So please ensure you understand the cost of doing business as you're thinking about doing payroll in the West. And also the compliance around systems. Um, even in Chile, there are requirements around the government certifying our systems, certifying our payroll systems, certifying our time systems, and that would include all of our partner systems as well. So understand all the rules and regulations as you're starting to think about doing business um, in any of our Western countries. Data tracking also becomes very complex. And of course, um, as in every other region, uh, privacy and security of our employee information is key. Now, there are so many multiple tax jurisdictions in every country as we're thinking about payroll in the West. And I've been able to manage larger organizations, but it's not uncommon for an organization to start doing payroll in the West and have the requirement to manage a thousand tax jurisdictions just in the United States alone. So tax is very complex as we're thinking about payroll in the West. And one of the top of mind items um, for all of us as we're working to grow our businesses and ensure that we're compliant. While we're leading the industry to daily pay potential, don't be surprised though if you still need paper. While most countries permit electronic pay and may even require it, here in the West, there are still a few countries 
that will allow employees to opt out of electronic payslips and have the requirement for delivering a paper check. So again, always ensure you're aware of the different uh, regulations as you're entering countries. For many years, the state of California in the United States did have a requirement to deliver final pay on demand. And so daily pay really isn't a stretch. It's really about how we're setting up to meet those regulations. And many countries are now enacting very similar legislation to share final settlement pay when individuals are exiting their firms. So again, daily pay is not um, uncommon. It's a wave of the future, but it's already embedded in many of our processes to meet uh, many of the payroll in the West country requirements. And remember, we still need to have employees acknowledge their pay slips um, in Mexico, and we're not allowed to take a deduction without an employee authorization in most of the countries. We have that in common across uh, the region as we're thinking about doing payroll in the West. We're engaged in our companies to focus on the employee experience. It's important to keep the customer first when designing payroll processes, implementing new digital methods, and align, aligning to all the compliance I've been mentioning. Um, this is the future of payroll and the new business norm. It's a partnership between human resources, finance, and the core business leaders as an entire end-to-end -end process. We need to think about when an employee signs for their payslip in Mexico, how is it digital? How do we remain in compliance and create a positive experience? And while we're engaging the employee, is there something else we should be sharing with them from an advice and guidance perspective? We also need to demonstrate the value of our payroll departments and partners as we are delivering services. Our leaders need to know why the cost per payslip may be higher in one region than another, and why is compliance so cumbersome, and why do we have so many tax jurisdictions that we need to respond to? What is the cost of compliance in doing business, and how do we control it, how do we measure it, and how do we ensure our leaders are aware of the value proposition we bring to our organizations and to all of our employees? Doing business, in the West is exciting, it never gets old because it does change daily and is leading a daily payroll revolution. Thank you for joining me on a quick journey of the Americas and payroll in the West. And like this event, I hope it is a journey you'll never forget. It is really a small global payroll world and look forward to connecting with you on the journey. Please feel free to reach out via LinkedIn and I'd be happy to connect and discuss your payroll journey as well. Have a good day.